Welcome back, I'm MTG Joe, and today we're going to be playing some Smothering Control. Uh, so we are live on Twitch now as well, so if you haven't uh, followed on this Twitch, uh, we can stream live now, finally got the hookup going. Uh, for those of you who watch uh, on YouTube, it'll still be under the same channel, MTG underscore Joe. Thanks for those who've already subscribed, if you haven't done so, uh, another great thing to kind of follow there. Uh, so the deck here, uh, we're in between sets, War of the Spark is coming out. In a few weeks so we're just kind of brewing with our existing cards trying to have some fun with uh, some wonky kind of off the beaten path non-esper control lists uh, so the one i want to play today is around smothering tides so this card here is whenever an opponent draws a card that player may pay two if that player doesn't you create a colorless treasure artifact token with and basically adds a mana so the core of the deck is a control deck where we make a lot of artifacts make really big karn tokens and uh, ultimately cast really big uh, bane fire. Uh, so the deck itself, otherwise, we have some duress in here just to kind of break up our opponent's hand. Fountain of Renewal gains us some life while also c making uh, larger constructs. We have the one of bane fire. We only play one red source off of blood crypt, but it's really just off the treasures. Dawn of Hope is an alternative wing con where we can just sink a bunch of mana into. Uh, we have Revitalize to gain us life into cycle cards. Couple cast downs for removal. Azor's Gateway, another way to draw cards, but also to make a lot of mana. Uh, this helps us with card filtering as well. Um, there's the issue in these decks of drawing the wrong half for, say, control. A uh, couple treasure maps, just a really good utility card. Draws us cards, makes some, uh, some mana, ramps us ahead. Uh, one Cry to offset the three uh, Kaya's Wrath. Might make sense to go up to four, but I want to test it out first. Uh, two Kayas, a uh, good utility card, can win the game on its own, but gains us some life to get, lead us to the late game. Some Mortifies is a good all-around removal spell. One Ixalan's Binding to deal with Planeswalkers or just trouble some permanents. And then a couple of Raska's Contempt and one Eldest Reborn to either buy us back a Karn, get an opponent's card, or go from there. So we'll try this in best of one. Uh, the utility lands we are running are one Field of Ruin and one Arch of Urzaga. Or, or Zra eh, can't pronounce that one, but Arch to draw some cards. Uh, otherwise, it's a full suite of Shock in Buddy Lands, two Forsaken Sanctuaries just to meet up with our double black, double white requirements at times. And then uh, one Blood Crypt just to have a main board option to have red mana. But generally, we produce a lot of like, uh, artifacts in this deck. So with this deck here, I've played some variations of it in the past. I uh, couldn't really get a fine tuning, so I wanted to play Banefire as just a catch-all win condition against Control, because you usually end up uh, drawing, like you could grind them out quite a bit, but in terms of actual getting them to the final point, it's a little bit harder. Um, so for those of you who are watching the stream live, let me know how it looks on your end. I'm just trying to troubleshoot some of the the issues that we've been having uh, just in terms of frame rate and the such but uh, hopefully it's looking good all right so this hand's not going to do enough this hand's a lot better so we'll keep and probably bottom the land play out the fountain on one Opponent's probably on Esper. Uh, here I'm just gonna play just in case I have a creature. So Esper is probably a tough matchup for us. Interesting. So Revitalize is a nice draw there. Opponent says hello. Opponent might be on four color control. Esper splash uh, Nickel Bolas. So here, I want to bait out a counter. Okay, so they absorb here. I want to stick one of these Planeswalkers. So I'm cool with... Uh, this might be Lich's Mastery. So here we have two options. We can Kaya's and Duress. I think I like that more. See what the opponent's up to. Okay, so opponent's on Super Friends. 
Uh, Teferi's worse right now, so let's get rid of Teferi. I'll phase through anything that stands we need to get rid of... We need something for Ral. So, the opponent will find a way to feed our Kaya as well, which is actually pretty funny. Uh, so here we need to decide... I think we plus Karn. Let us begin. They have two turns. They Kaya's Wrath this turn to get rid of it, but we can attack it down. I think we just draw. So they probably give us the revitalize. Yeah, oh, they give us the card. They likely don't have too many instants and sorceries anyways, so it might not be too bad for us to play around that. So, we'll see what the opponent uh, plays out here. Another chromatic line turn. Opponent's coming with uh, the spice. So, duress here is nice. We can take the Kai's Wrath. So, that gets rid of that. We'll make a Karnstruct here. And just get rid of the wrath so guy's blessing doesn't really do anything and just pass the turn here so don't really want to crack this just yet we need to keep the power up a little bit higher to pressure ral a bit more can this deal to target player but not planeswalker Opponent's got all the mana in the world. So Vraska's interesting here. Only stands in my way. So they get rid of the Karnstruct, not Kaya. So they're gonna ultimate Ral next turn unless we could find something. So we have treasure map. Probably should have plus Karn first. Mortify doesn't really do much. Okay, so we have the binding. We're a turn late on that, but we can get rid of the Vraska at least. Six. So they don't really have much instants and sorceries if we don't really present a clock. I don't think this Ral emblem's as game breaking. Like at the end of the day, if they don't play creatures, like they can get back Ral with Guy's Blessing, which it looks like they will. They'll deal four damage. See what they hit. If they go after Kaya or Karn, they know about the backup Karn. Try that again. I dare you. So we'll see what they go after. Vraska. Everyone is expendable. Except me. They go after a land. So here they're just casting it for the damage. They'll get rid of Kaya. Not forever. So here we need to decide. Probably tick down Karn. Opponent discards, we gain some life. 
So let's see what's on top of our library first, and then we'll decide what to do with Karn. We have the option to binding. Revitalize isn't bad, it just gives us another draw. Here I just want to put some power on the board, start threatening our opponent. Evil cannot withstand a and just get rid of the Vraska most likely. Vraska's repeated removal against a lot of our smaller stuff in the deck. They can get rid of the treasure map, which I prefer to flip. Okay, so they mortify. So this is probably a tough matchup dealing with this many planeswalkers. We're a slower deck, and if they just keep getting repeated value. So it's pretty good for them. They get to kill the Karn and that. Vraska can down tick on this if they want. We do have a backup Karn. Ah, so that sucks for us. Our opponent milling out is also an option. If we keep presenting threats that they have to address. We have Bedevil and Mortify. So they have the mana. They have 21 cards in the deck left. Okay, so they have the guy's blessing to keep shuffling without Kaya. That's a little rough. So we'll use the Revitalize first to draw another card and then uh, Fountain to draw one. So I guess as long as they keep doing that, they can keep cycling. Give it a couple more turns, see what we get, and then if not, we'll start a new game. Welcome to those joining in the chat. Okay, so opponent drops a lot. So let's see what we draw first. Another treasure map's not bad. So we'll pass the turn here. Want to do this on their end step to, for us to have the most information. So we'll scry here. Cast down's not what we want here. So they play another Rowl. That's four cards they're drawing effectively for the turn. It's a pretty sweet deck. I think we need to try it out. What are they running? So they're playing a lot of Tomes, some Kaya's Wrath, some Vraska's. They got a Teferi now. So Teferi Tuck is also an option for them to prevent to prevent them from milling out. I know. Hold that thought. So we'll see what we get in the next couple turns. I don't think Karn's gonna do too much on this board state. Ral down tick. They have two, I think. Mortify doesn't really have text in this matchup. Okay, so we'll call it quits. With Teferi, they're just going to tuck it, so we can't really do much. It's definitely a sweet list, and uh, probably a lot more of what we're going to see come uh, the next expansion with War of the Spark. Definitely want to try out that list. That one looks fun for sure. It's going to be hard to decide with the new set which of the like 40 plus planeswalkers across all standard. Uh, Fountain into cast down Kaya Karn. I like that curve. Hands looking very similar to our starter last game. Hopefully we play a creature deck. That's what we want to see in this matchup. Uh, so here... We'll shock ourselves. Let's see what our opponent's playing. 
So this is the blue-green theft deck. So let's get rid of reclamation here. We can cast down the druid. And then play Kaya. So here, just get out the other fountain. And cast this down now. And then we can just start Kaying next turn. Opponent's got two cards here. So they Deputy of Detention. Both are fountains. Which is actually kind of gross. Uh, do we want a treasure map? So Kaya draws some attention away from us for the time being. Treasure map ensures we hit a land for Karn. But also some removal. Probably go map first. Put a stop on our upkeep. Pass turn. This looks like Bant Reclamation. So let's see what we have on the top of our deck. We want Kaya's Wrath. We need a land. Playing Kaya doesn't get us there, so I think we bottom it for now. Okay, so land's good there. So we'll draw, play out Kaya. So the thing is with this play, they can adapt next turn 3 4 power and kill the Kaya. That makes them spend their turn doing that. I like a good fight. No, I didn't. Welcome here. We are gonna die that, like, have our Kaya die this way if they value it. Okay, so they play the Reclamation. So they can't kill Kaya this turn. Actually isn't too bad for us. So let's see what we get off treasure map. Kai's Wrath's perfect. So here... They haven't shown a counter spell yet. We know one of their cards in sight, so this has to be Sabotage or Absorb. This gets us back our fountains as well. Opponent might have negate in their deck. It's awesome for us. And we get to hit their insight so they don't get the flashback on it. So opponent prioritized reclamation over getting Kai off the board. So they have a lot of mana here. They don't have a payoff yet. And we can get Karn down next turn and start making some Karn Strucks. Mortify is actually pretty solid as well. So I think we prioritize Karn this turn. And just start putting some pressure on them. There is great power in the people you make. Kaya is also able to deal 5 damage at this point. And now we're attacking on two different fronts. Uh, do we blow up a reclamation here? I think we do. Slightly limits how much they can draw. They lost the land that way as well. Gives Kaya two more things to eat. Oh. So 
we're not beating the immortal sun. Mind you, we do have Okay, so we'll resolve here. So we'll pass turn. It's not necessarily game over for us. They haven't shown a win condition. So they play Deputy of Detention here. Let's see what they target. So if we sacrifice this in response, they don't get it. Treasure map's good, and we'll just get rid of the Deputy here. Keeps them from being able to attack. Treasure map should help us uh, hopefully draw into Ixalan's Binding. Play out map. Uh, probably way to turn. See what the opponent plays. Just another insight. Deputing these lists are pretty solid, I think. Just giving them the option to be able to clear out like tokens and stuff like that, or just random permanents. And then that allows them to play Immortal Sun, which against our deck is pretty much most of our win conditions. Okay, so we need a sweeper. Smothering Tide is not that. So here we can do that. Arch is also not that. So let's see what our opponents got in their hand. I think they pretty much got us. They're going to hit us for Chunk here. Trying out the Absorb there is not bad. They can make another token here. We're basically digging for the Kaya's Wrath. So they hit us for 10. Wondering what they have, because we would I guess we would have duress to take their absorb most likely. So we need to stop on our upkeep as well. We basically have three looks at the top of our deck. Draw, scry, and then draw. It's fine. They can sink all that mana into it. See what we get here. Kai's Wrath. More fountains. Uh, so here we'll actually just do this. Treasure map will flip. So let's draw. Need to draw here. They got it. We play Fountain. Because 
No, we're short of mana. Oi. Some interesting decks we're playing today, at least. A lot of tough ones, though. We'll run it back for one more, and then we'll try out a different list. So for those of you watching on Twitch for the first time, I my name is MTG Joe. I've been pretty much producing full time on YouTube, uh, so we have all our playback videos there. MTG underscore Joe. On the channel, we play everything from best of one to best of three, jank to tier one. I really like brewing, so I like to try to play fun decks, kind of off the beaten path. Uh, so this hand, treasure map should get us there. We got Wrath to catch us up. Revitalize is also good. Uh, looks like Esper. Play out the map here. Just guy. Interesting. Uh, do we want Kaya here? Don't think we want Kaya right now. Just want some lions, really. So we'll revitalize this turn and then probably drop some Mothering Tide. That be the attention. I'll get rid of the treasure map. This could be Lumbering by Battlement. A lot of ETBs. Okay. So that's good because it hits us for the Kaya's Wrath turn. Get them to overcommit to the board. Draw us a bunch of cards. So they pay the mana here. Yeah, so this is definitely Lumbering Battlement. So I'm just going to Kaya's Wrath this turn. Get rid of their board, get us our stuff back. Uh, do we want Fountain or do we I think we want to Scry. So this deck, for those of you who haven't played it, uh, Lumbering Battlement can actually go infinite uh, with a combination of Mirror Image, Lumbering Battlement. Okay, so they don't have a play here. Uh, Duress is pretty good. Let's see what's going on in our opponent's hand. Uh, so here we're good just to draw. So let's lead on Duress. Can get like a thud or something. Okay, so. We're not gonna play creatures for them to bounce. So as long as they have that. We want them to kind of commit to the board with playing these. So they'll probably give us the land here. Uh, so here I'm gonna shock and just play fountain. This also turns on city's blessing, so we can draw some more cards that way once we kind of get a bunch of mana. So we'll see if they pay the mana here. Nahrumeha. So it's some damage they can apply to Karn. They can't quasi duplicate. That's fine. Oh, is this just Jeskai Wizards? Oh, this is Jeskai Wizards. That's interesting. 
So they'll attack Karn for three here, which is fine. We can Varaska's Contempt. Get some, some more cards. So they're refilling their hand pretty nicely. We want to try to find another Wrath here. Uh, so we can Contempt it now. Or we can try... What's under Karn? Ixalan's Binding. Sure. Let's Contempt it. So this keeps Karn alive for a bit. Uh, so here... Let's Treasure Map. Don't think we want the second one right now. Okay, so Revitalize there. So here, let's plus Karn. They'll give us a land. Vitalize, we get another fountain. Just play that out. And pass the turn. So this is just going to let the opponent kind of waste time fighting with Karn. I want them to get rid of this Academy Journey Mage. It could bounce our first token. Like that, I'll just tap it down so I'm not too concerned with it. So they can Journey Mage and then copy it. See what they commit to the board, if anything. So via Shino, we'll deal some more damage to Karn. So our turn. So here, let's just... Treasure map. Uh, another treasure map's not bad either. Yeah, let's do that. So we draw the treasure map. Let's play out the treasure map. Another Karn. I think we need a Wrath here. More lands is not where we want to be. Okay, so they'll waste their turn attacking Karn. We have all the mana in the world. We need something to do with it. Probably gonna blow some. Uh, well, we have the field. Uh, now that it's flipped, we can start drawing some cards. So that's another interesting interaction with uh, Treasure Cove and all these tokens. So, we'll see how they attack. Just trying to get as many looks as we can. Stop on our upkeep. Scry. Bottom that. So 
So we have duress, doesn't do much. Let's sack a treasure here. Another smothering tide. So they're gonna give us the land here. So here, do we want the second smothering tide? It gives us a lot of mana. So we'll just pass the turn here. We can flip both treasure maps, so we get quite a few draws a turn now. So we just need a sweeper, and then the opponent's pretty far behind. That's not how it works. Your token dies. So that's 9, 12, 15. They hit us for 9 here. So our turn, let's treasure map, perfect, we know it's in the opponent's hand, so let's wipe their board. card and opponent concedes so a lot of fun decks today uh, definitely interesting in that regard got a pack out of it amplifier nothing really that good so we're gonna cut it short for now um, thanks for those watching on stream. Uh, make sure if you are on YouTube, hit that subscribe button. You'll get notifications if you choose whenever we go live with some fun new videos. Thanks for watching, guys, and have a great one.